All right, today guys, I'm gonna show you how to rebuild a low pressure fuel pump. Let's get into it. Okay, as you pulled your low pressure fuel pump, yours should look something similar to this. Basically the two bolts are the ones that take it off and then this, these two bolts here uh, actually hold it together. So we're gonna take that, uh, loosen that and take that off. Honestly, so far this looks really good and clean, um, which may lead me to believe that it didn't need replaced and it could be the high pressure pump, but still gonna rebuild it anyway. It's just because we have everything here. Basically just this, there's a little gap here. This is kind of suctioned together just uh, over time. So you just take a screwdriver and literally just pops up and, and you can open the other side. And again, not bad at all. Looks pretty good, um, but like I said, we'll rebuild it anyways because we got it open. Before I get into the guts part of it, I'm just going to go ahead and take this and switch it out. So here you got two pieces. You got this piece, I'll go there, and then you have just a replacement. These two sit on top of each other. Again, that all still looks real good too. Take this little spring out, holds it in, pop the new spring in, that's not the right one. Small little two fits in there. Take that little guy back on there. Should kind of fit in there. There we go. And then take these, which I believe are exactly the same. Stick that on there. And for now, I'm gonna set that on there and to the side. Okay, so now, same thing on the other side. We're going to kind of take that off without losing this piece for now, just to keep in mind where things are. Set that there, replace this side and then again set it to the side okay let's do this this part's a little simpler take that off and then has this little gasket here which we have a new one there pull that off got a little bit of stuff stuck to it there which is i'll just kind of clean off okay so this piece that comes in the kit it's right there I'm just going to it should pop on there there we go put that on there and then set it to the side so it's ready and this old one comes out again looks to be in pretty good shape we'll put it back over here with the old stuff and then these things little tabs here yeah. that. They're, they're separated they're individual pieces there we go you can see there it's a little like teeth Basically, a snap into place, holding that disc in, in place. Okay, that one took a lot more work than I wanted to. Essentially, you can kind of see as as working it out there, a long piece there, right there. And then I had to stick my screwdriver basically under here and pop that little clip out. This one, my kit didn't actually come with this extra seal, so I'm going to steal it use it on the new one. Something I didn't know until after, um, Mercury stopped using the rubber check valves um, in the fuel pumps, and they only use the uh, plastic check valves that are in your kit here. So I actually doubled up, um, used, put them back how they were, um, and I've actually ran this fuel pump and it did work just fine. So I don't think it matters either way, but you, you don't have to use the little black rubber piece anymore. You can just use a plastic piece. 
So now we got that one out. And we gotta work on getting this one out. Hopefully it's not as challenging. I've already pushed on a little bit and it hasn't moved, so we'll see. Okay, wasn't pretty, but we got it out of there. Now we're clean and we can kind of uh, start the rebuild. Okay, so this is the new piece here. I've kind of fed it in there a little bit. Um, you got your pin that sticks out. That's going to push down through once we get it in. Uh, make sure you're on the right side. The wrong side, basically, you can't even get it in, so. so stick it down in there. I, again, like I said, I kept that black piece. Pops down in there like that. bit of force without bending that little plastic piece but slid down in there and now it's in place and you just repeat on the other side so this this side you're gonna flip over and go from this angle with that seal taking this piece off and adding the new screen with the old piece Now we got that side on, that side on. We can put our springs in and our new seals in, kind of put it back together. Okay, so now we got both of those in. See how they flower out like that, showing they're in. I put the new little spring piece back in that little spot there. Just like that. Now we can kind of sandwich it all back together. All right, let's start. We're gonna start with this side first. Let's make our sandwich on this side. Straight through there. Good. That good in there. Kind of lining up these um, will help you get everything back together. Okay, so now let's see if we can that make it through there. I think so. Let's kind of start hand tightening that deal. Maybe. Okay, so now it's all back together and we'll just tighten it down. As you can see, uh, those these are kind of your guides, these little arrows on this side to get everything lined back up. Obviously make sure your springs are in there. And just like that, we have a rebuilt low pressure fuel pump. Like I said, I'm going to put this in a Ziploc bag, store it in a uh, sealed uh, boat bag, and then it's just kind of back up if my one that I bought from Amazon doesn't work out very long or goes forever. At least I have a backup. I can quickly slap on on the water if I need to and get running again.